Hey cronies, welcome back to our vlog. As you can see, we are staying in this. We are still in the same dress because that's just the clothes. Yeah, clothes. We are still talking in the same moment, but it's a new vlog because we still owe you some explanations about our Christmas project. Correct. So, how are we gonna start, Shots? Shots, I have this feeling that in this vlog, it's gonna be you who is going to talk 80% of the time because I'm so bad at explaining. I get startled. Should I explain and yes. you just be trying to just be add pretty something. and look good? Oh, so... Okay. Do you want to put up some makeup? It's too late. They too late. saw me make that face already. Okay, good. <laughs> Okay, cronies, we make it very short because we don't want to bother you so much with just some data, datas and numbers and everything. But this was a project from our whole community and for everyone who donated and we promise that we're going to explain you after. Let us start. Before we ever thought about having um, a, a community thing and we just was thinking about that how we want to do it we gave us a budget of 5000 peso okay just to buy some candies and bring it yeah. to the kids right and there was no rice included nothing just for also. the kids just for the kids mm -hmm. so that was our budget 5k um, you can see it in our vlog when we bought all the things you can see it here that we spent it around 7k for candy so the our idea of having around 5k was matching yeah. our imaginations mm -hmm. but then guys there is a problem not a problem a very it's a very good problem a good problem a positive problem <laughs> um, we got so many donations that the amount of what we got from you is 51,645.46 piso so that was Unexpected. Correct. And the thing is, we had plans to do this like on December 23, we wanted to, we shared all the um, gifts. Okay. And we had 20, the, uh, 21, December 21, we bought all the stuff. December 22, we packed all the stuff. December 23, we just bring it out. And with our plan, our additional short plan, Okay, to have 5,000 peso budget and split the things, that would be perfect, everything was okay. Yeah. But then we got so many donations that in that short period of time, mm -hmm. we had no possibilities to organize this and this huge thing, you know, because um, we go now in our costs. And all in all, that means the cost for rice, the cost for food, uh, for the van, for um, candies, everything, we spent it 28,372.40 peso. This is almost exactly just the half, half of what we had in Got budget. From you guys. Yeah? So what is left after the costs we spent was still now there 28,273.06 yeah. this is what we still have now left over we need to say there was also additional costs for the lunch we had you guys saw it in the vlog and drinks but we do not include it in this yeah okay? we shoulder it with we our shoulder it in our own because it was our private food our private drinks so this yeah. is not included in this okay um, there, there's just one thing I wanted to mention and this is something I want to discuss with you because uh, we want to make it as fair as possible yeah. in this cost of 28,300 plus there is also included 1,000 peso for brother Mark the reason is easy brother Mark you guys know he is a tricycle driver here as long as our boat is not running the reason is that and this is a very nice thing his girlfriend is pregnant and instead of asking us for help for his money or finding other reasons or to let just go with the flow 
he is really working hard at the moment as a tricycle driver and driving every day from morning to night tricycles to save a lot of money for the moment he become a father yeah but he said he will help us as well with this project but to be honest guys um the van we was driving was a clutch driving vehicle and i cannot sit there with my costume and drive and always spread the candies so we need a driver and i asked brother mark to help us but I was I talked to Chami, Chami said it's okay, but I said no because I do not want that brother Mark he become father, he needs every peso he can earn and then he helped us packing and everything the whole three days for nothing. So Yeah, the transport. Yeah, so I gave him in the end of this three days at least one thousand pesos so he has some money yes. for yeah for his baby because the baby will come in four months. Mm. I just hope that you guys as a community and everyone who donate to us is agreeing with it. If not, okay, do not think bad about us. Just let us know in the comments or send us, if you don't want to make it public, send us an email that you don't like this idea. Okay, that we give brother Mark a little bit of this money and then we find a solution that we take over this 1000 from our yeah, private we'll budget. We will give it back to this. But what we want to say now, in the end of everything, we have left over 28,273.06 money. This is 50% yeah. of what we got in donations and our own money we wanted to invest in this project. So yeah, now it's the question, Shats, what we can do with this money. Yeah, the thing is, the reason why we still have so much left, because like I said, we all in the beginning, we already opened up to you guys that we just want the kids to be happy. But um, we didn't expect that we would gather so much donations. And I don't want to also buy this 56,000 all candies. Because yeah. it's also not good when it's too much candy for each kids mm -hmm. so that's the reason why i also came up with rice yeah because rice is something no one would say no yeah. or would say oh it's a bad thing yeah. so um i discussed it with andre and at first andre is having a second thought because like like we said we already said just for kids make yeah. kids happy with candies and stuff and now we're buying rice then i said i don't think that you guys would complain about it as well and i think it's also a good idea for doing so yeah i have three ideas what we can do with the money and it's on you guys to decide um what you like to do with it the first option I have is the easiest is we keep it for next year, next Christmas. So for 24, this year, for this Christmas. year, Christmas. We keep it now and uh, we make it to a bigger event because now Charmy and me, we know what work is behind and we can manage to start earlier and to yeah have more people in charge of helping us. Yeah, because this is our first time. Yeah. And we never had experience about this, but now that we know already, it will be easier for this yeah. coming Christmas to do also the same thing. And the second is that what you said about typhoon problem? Yeah, the second um, idea that came to my mind is we keep this money and just in case there's typhoon, because there's always typhoon in the Philippines. And if there is, we could use this money also to give relief goods yeah. like rice, sardines, yeah. just in case. But we don't know if this year will have. Yeah, but you correct. know. Yeah, if you keep it as a budget from the from from the community, and oh. for an example, if there is a big typhoon, we come with, back to you and say, hey guys, here's a big typhoon happened. Yes. There is a lot of people who have, have or no fire, you yeah, know. or fire or something, um, and then it's the community who decide if we help or not or how much we help or not mm -hmm. and the third option is and this is what then we need your help is if you have an idea what we can do with the money yeah. um, if you guys have something in your mind now what it's not coming in our mind then let us just know and then we 
yeah, we will be like a moderate moderation to yeah keep all the ideas, the mindsets together, and then we will find the best solution as a community. This is what we are thinking now, and this is what we wanted to share with you guys because you guys helped us so much, way way more than we expected, and we are so thankful to have this cr crazy cool community yeah. that we wanna be very open with you and. Yeah, you deserve that we share the situation right now. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, we are so thankful because you guys made this project to a way bigger project than we expected. Yeah. Especially that in the beginning of our idea was Charmy and me, we sit on a bike, Charmy has a sack in the back and then we just drive with our 5k budget and spread some <laughs> And then in the end we have a, a van full of candies and rice yeah, and dresses and clothes and we share so much more than we expected. It was so nice day that yeah we we, we are really excited and um, that we want to do it again. Yeah, and we want to see what you guys' ideas are because yeah, let I'm us sure. let us know in the comment section, guys, which of the three yeah. you want us for. Uh, end of this year yeah that's a good idea and yeah there was more there was people who asked or said that we have to do it again and we will do it again because to see this kid smiling was really a big big reward reward for me for the last year you know in the end of the year to see this kid smiling and uh, yeah that's something i want to do now every year yeah and we, who knows maybe uh, it will grow more and Maybe we will can find another white big man like me who wants to share this as well. Yeah. And maybe we can make it next year that we split and we have two vans mm. driving around and helping kids, you know. Yeah. That's just not just one. So I have this imagination to make it bigger and bigger. So yeah, that maybe we can really start making it to a community or we can really start doing it to a real charity and this will be just a basement for something bigger yeah and if you guys joined this and you guys joined it and helped us and was with us makes it makes me really proud of this community and we see you guys again in the next vlog and like i said comment down below about this um project for the for this year again yes see you next time bye bye